Hello and welcome to Coders Column. My name is Sunny Solanki, and in today's video, I will explain how to create a population pyramid charts using Python data visualization library Matplotlib. We'll be creating charts in Jupyter Notebook. So, without further ado, let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I already have a Jupyter Notebook open, and at the beginning of the notebook, I have included a sample image showing how population pyramid chart looks. So this is a common use cases of a pyramid chart where you are trying to understand the distribution of male and female population based on age range. So as you can see on the left we have male and on the right we have female and the bars represent like what percentage of the population of male or female belongs to particular age range like 60 to 64. There are 3.5% male and 3.6% female. So this is the common use case of a population pyramid chart. But you can use it for other purpose as well if you want to analyze some other binary variable other than gender. And for y-axis you can instead of age range you can have height range as well different height ranges or weight ranges as well. So yeah that was a small introduction. So let's move on to coding part. So first of all, I have imported library matplotlib and printed the current version which is installed on my system. Now in the next cell, I have created a simple data set which we will be using to create our chart. So this data set I found online. It has a age percentage of male and female for UK population. I don't know the data is of which year, but it, let's assume that it's a latest data set. So we have age range, which is represented by age column. Then we have male percentage, female percentage. And other than that, I have added uh, four more columns. So I have added a female left, which I have set to zero. So, and female width, which is the land, same as a female values. So this is generally uh, population pyramid chart is a kind of a bar chart only. And when we are creating a horizontal bar chart, we need to specify coordinates from where the bar should start and what is the width of the bar. So that's what I have calculated over for female left. So left is a position from where bar start and width is the width of the bar. Same I have done for male left. So I have set it to negative of actual value and width is the value of male column. So that's our small data set which we will use to create population pyramid chart. So let's go ahead and create the one. So over here I have uh, already kept uh, colors that we'll be using for female and male bars. So let's go ahead and first of all let me import matplotlib.pyplot.plt So we'll be creating charts using pyplot API of matplotlib. First of all I will create a figure object. I will set figure size to 15 by 10 let's call it figure and then so we have our figure object ready let's create the first bars which are bars of female so it will start from female left and female width so for y axis we'll be using age range so i will say population df of age then followed by width of the chart will be population df of female score width I will set color to female color this one I will set label to female let's say simply female so all right, let me execute this one and show you how the initial chart looks. So as you can see, we have bars of female plotted on our chart, which is starting from zero. Now the next bars that we will add are bars for male, which will go from zero to left. So let's go ahead and do that. So y axis will I again use bar h method to create uh, bars for uh, male. Then width will be instead of female, it will be male width. Color, let's use this one. Label will be 
mail and one more thing we need to specify for mail is left from where the bars will start so population df of mail left that we calculated earlier so let me execute this one and as you can see we have our initial pyramid chart ready with just three lines of code so what we will do next is that let's go ahead and add some titles axis labels and titles i will say tlt to text label so percent dot y label will be age range dot title will be uk population pyramid chart let's say location on the left adding 20 pixels font size will be 25 and font weight Old. let's use font size for x label 16 and for y axis also 16 so there we have added axis titles and title of the chart let me set limit for x axis from minus 7 to 7 so currently as you can see it's going from minus 3 to 4 let's set it to minus 7 to 7 so we have a proper chart i will set x takes range of minus 7 to 8 and then labels for x ticks are in range minus 7 to 8 so we have minus 7 to 7 percent format of i so all right so let me execute this cell and show you how it looks now our modified chart so now as you can see now we have a proper chart on x-axis we have uh, percents which is 0 to minus 7 and on y-axis we have a label which is age range so let's go ahead and add some text on the chart so over here i will add a big text name male and on the right i will add text name female so let's add it over here minus 6 and 85 to 90 okay so 85 to 90 is on 17 okay so for x axis it will be minus 6 and y axis it will be 17 so x and y coordinate and string will be male font size will be let's try 20 same we will set for female female let's start from here 4 4 and 17 okay so let me execute this one yeah i think now we have a male and female so let me move a male one little bit minus 6.5 yeah and let me set font weight to bold bold let's increase the size of yeah so now we have male and female let's do one more thing so we have labels added let's add legend as well so i will say plt dot legend location equal to best and yeah now we have legend as well so last thing that we will add to this chart is a percentage of each of the bars which will be added next to each bar so let's do that so for that i will use for loop for i in range of length of our population df then plt dot text so let's add the labels for male on the right side on the left side of the bar 
so for x axis uh, the values will be percentage and for y axis the values will be range so for x axis values will be population df male width or male you can use any one of them i let's use index index for y axis it will be i and text will be percentage of format population df of male index okay and instead of male width this will be male lab okay so let me set font size to 15 and font color to the color of the male so let me execute this one and show you how it looks then we will modify to improve the look again okay so instead of high i need to specify index and the color value should start with hash because i have given hex code so yeah now we have our titles or percentages but they are not properly aligned so what i will do is that i will add horizontal and vertical alignment so horizontal will be so it should come on the left of the bar so i will set value right so that bar goes on the right side and vertical alignment will be center so let me execute now yeah now this one looks better so what i will do i will move little bit the all these labels by a small amount on x-axis so i will say minus 0 0.1 and yeah now this one looks better so we have um, percentages for male let's add percentages for female i will copy this one over here instead of this will be female width this will be female let's use the color of female and instead of minus one set it to plus 0.1 and yeah i think we have label but they are going inside of our bars so instead of right i need to set horizontal alignment to left so bars are on the left side and yeah so as you can see uh, we have our population pyramid ready and this one looks quite better so let's uh, add a theme to this chart to improve the look a little bit more so how can i add theme to this chart so i have copied the previous code you can call method name plt.style.context and give it a theme name 538 is the theme which i will use i am calling it with context as a context manager so i need to move all the code inside of the context manager so now we will have 538 theme uh, applied to our chart let's execute this cell and see how our chart looks all right now this one looks uh, quite better what i will do is that i will disable the grid so it will improve the look even more it, the choice is up to you if you want to disable the grid then you can otherwise if you like it then you can keep it so yeah now i have disabled the grids so as you can see now this chart looks quite better so yeah that's it uh, for today's tutorial today we covered how you can create a population pyramid chart using python data visualization library matplotlib and we created bars of population pyramid using plt.barh method so yeah if you liked our video and if you learned something new today then give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and see you next time